hello. Uh, as a, I guess, aspiring doctor and um, a graduating senior of Cornell, I just had a question for you, Dr. Campbell, about um, the diet you said, or this primi primarily consists of um, plants. I guess my question was, how much of that diet would you should people consume of meat? And if they do consume meat, what type of meat would be best for them to consume? Because I know some uh, proteins are necessary for us to consume. Well, from the scientific perspective, uh, the whole food plant-based diet needs, has all the protein we need. In fact, that level of protein is ideal. It's generally known as the recommended dietary allowance, which incidentally is not the minimum protein intake we need. It's actually close to the optimum. If one goes back and looks at the original, the origin of the recommended dietary allowance, um, then they'll see that recommended dietary allowance is around 10%. Uh, the best idea is to go with this kind of diet, allow our taste preferences to change. That's a key thing. And when our taste preferences begin to change, then we get used to it, and the first thing you know, we crave a salad. And it's all, all downhill from there on. 